In this video, I'm gonna show you how to have more than eight Sims in your household, how to try for a baby, and to adopt pets when your house is full. The Sims, I'm addicted to The Sims 4, and I can't help but want some more. So let's play and see what we explore. Obsessed, but I cannot help it anymore. Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Stew Gaming tutorial video. So as you can see, in my current household, I have 11 sims. Whenever I upload my Big Brother series, I do get the questions often of how to do this because you're playing with more than just eight sims and this video is gonna answer all of your questions. It's also gonna tell you what not to do so that you can avoid mistakes in the future. But before we start, let me show you how to get the mod to do this. So in order for you to have more than eight sims in your household, you're gonna need a mod. This mod is actually from Twisted Mexi and has been around since the beginning of The Sims. And to be honest with you, I cannot play without it. I absolutely love having more than eight Sims in my off-camera households and then also in all of my Big Brother and Elimination type games. I will put the link to this website in the description below. So once you're on this website, you're going to scroll down until you get to this, Full House Mod. Click the download button. This is gonna take you to this page. Now, it looks a little strange, but this is actually the right page. You're gonna go scroll down until you get to TM Full House TS4 script. You're gonna click this to download and then go to your downloads folder. So I'm now in my downloads folder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this mod and I'm gonna paste it in documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4 and mods. Once you paste it, you can actually boot up the game and you are good to go. So we're back. So once you actually have all the mods that you need for this, all you have to do is go to Control Shift C. This is gonna allow you to type. I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but just in case you didn't. And then it's tm.fullhouse. And then you're gonna type the first and last name of the sim in the world that you wanna add to your house. And there you go. They have now been added. So you can see Jordan Lloyd is the new guest and she is now outside here. Okay, so once you have them in your household, there's a few things you guys should note. If I was to say go cast full edit mode and then click modify and cast, this will take me to the cast menu. But the problem is all of my additional sims beyond the eight are now deleted. So you cannot full edit mode in cast once you have more than eight sims. So if you exit this, if you do it by accident, simply go back to your game and then you'll notice that you still have all 12. So there's a couple ways around this. So one would be you can actually install in your house one of these closets. And if you go to plan outfit, say, your sim will then enter the wardrobe and only they will be in cast. You can make any changes you like to their appearance. However, full edit mode will never be accessible, but you could still change their outfit. Now let's just say that's not good enough. You want to full edit mode, no problem. But what you have to do is you have to first go to manage worlds. Once you're in manage worlds, click on your household and then click on the move button. You're gonna have to move all the Sims above eight out of your household. And after that, you could then edit them in cast. Once you finish the edits you want, simply go back to the game and re-add them the same way you did initially. tm.fullhouse and then the first and last name of the sims you want to add back. Now let's say that you have two sims that want to try for a baby. You will not be able to try for a baby when you have more than eight sims in this household. However, you can also move them out get pregnant and move them back in, or alternatively, you can install an additional mod that will allow you to try for a baby when you have more than eight Sims. I already have that additional mod installed. So I'm going to go here and you can see that the try for a baby is available as an option. I'm gonna show you how to find that mod now. Now I've already showed you how you can try for a baby with more than eight Sims. You simply have to move them out and then move them back in. However, if that's too much for you, you can download this mod. I personally use it and love it. So this one is from Claudia Sharon. And again, it's been around since basically the beginning of the Sims. Again, I'll put the website link in, in the description below so you can download this. So what you wanna do is once you're on this website, you're gonna go to files and then you'll see three different patches. So I personally use the Sims 16 because I. I don't think I'll ever need a household with more than 16, especially in a single family when I'm trying for babies. 
You can use the 25 patch, however, keep in mind that the more sims you have in a household, the slower your game will run. I personally have used it up to 18 sims and I've never had a problem. So once you're here, click the one that you wanna download and then go to your downloads folder. Once you're in your downloads folder, you are going to need to extract this file. So click the extract all and continue. Once you've extracted the file, you're going to again cut this and you're gonna to go to documents, electronic arts, sims 4, mods, and again paste it. Once the mod has been pasted into this file, you are good to go. Now let's say you want to adopt a baby or in my case, a dog. You can definitely do that by going to the computer, go to household, adopt, and then you can adopt a dog, a cat, or even a child. You don't need an additional mod for this. Additionally, if you see any strays in the world, you can actually adopt those too. Now, if you want to create your own dog that you want to move into the household, but you already have eight sims, same rules apply. You got to move the additional sims out, create a dog, or even better, create a dog in another household, and simply then add it to your household by doing tm.fullhouse and then the first and last name of the pet you want to adopt. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys have found it helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those comments below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. And also check out my Sims Big Brother videos and the Elimination Challenge. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.